Hello YouTube, this is Loud Styles, and this is another Loud and Proud Commentary. Konnichiwa! Before I start with this commentary, I would just like to say that I will not be using face palm clips anymore. Like, ever. Just want to point that out. So let's get on with this commentary, shall we? I'm not going to sit by anymore and listen to this crap flying around about furries saying they're sex maniacs. And Which about most of the population is? Fursuits, they have sex in fursuits, and all this bogus crap. Okay, apparently Freddy Krueger's other kin over here is upset because everybody's talking about how furries are sex-crazed maniacs. Most of the population of furries are sex-crazed maniacs. It has been proven in TV shows and on the internet that they are just a bunch of sex-crazed maniacs that wants to yip anything with a heartbeat. It's been proven about this so I highly doubt it's anything bogus and oh yeah also half of the furry population that are sex crazed maniacs are the same ones that are sonic fags how much you wanna bet the people that even put this crap out haven't even talked to a furry and how much you wanna bet that half the people that even said this so-called crap are people that either seen furries have talked to a furry or is a furry themselves they don't know really what a furry is. How about you go listen to Corel the Ravens, the furry song 2009, and then you come back and talk. The song goes, furries are an internet subculture. Okay guys, don't worry, I'm going to explain why I put that buzz clip in there. I'm not just going to use a buzz clip and then go on to the freaking video. The reason I did it is this. Furries are not an internet subculture. They're pretty much out there. If it's an internet subculture, then it would stay on the internet. But it's not. It's also shown on television. In certain shows like CSI or MTV. Hell, they even show furry conventions on television. So, I guess it's not an internet subculture. Now, is it? I think someone needs to get their facts straight. Who are fans of anthropomorphic animal characters, and they bring them to life any way they can. Costume, illustration, roleplay, animation. Anthropomorphic means like human, but not entirely quite human. And that's all it is. They're not these sex maniacs. They're not... Oh my god. I just don't know. Is it me or do you see that guy in the back all like, I heard sex? Oh, it ain't sex? Oh, it's just him bitching about something. I don't know about all the haters. Oh, and one thing that really torques me off. The saying, yif in hell, fur fag. What the heck? What the heck? Yif, for the people that don't know, is like the furry sex thing. And like, yif in hell, fur fag, that is haters saying every furry is gay or whatever. And I'm just sick of all this crap being spewed from this person's mouth that probably doesn't even know, let alone, has seen a furry in real life. Or maybe he has seen a furry in real life and this is what he thinks of them. It's all how you look at it. No. I've seen it on Thousand Ways to Die on Spike TV, CSI on Spike TV, uh, what else was there? Oh, I just saw a Jimmy Fallon thing. Well, not Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Kimmel Live. Oh, my God. I don't know. I just give up, you know. Hey, I guess this will really get the haters flowing, but I'm actually a furry myself. What? Oh, 
Oh my god, I did not know you was a furry. Holy crap, the egg on my face. I am so shocked. I knew you was a furry the very moment you start talking about this video. Not really surprising. I'm actually wanting to get a suit? Here, where's the stuff I had? Hold on. I had something. Can someone please explain to me what the hell my boy is talking about? It's even here. Also, don't mind me. I'm just watching my son make a complete ass out of himself over the internet. More. Grandma might have moved it. Don't even see it. Damn. Oh, here it is. I think. Yeah. When I get more fur, I'm actually going to be making a fursuit. You see this? Velboa, white fur, arctic fox fur. Well, I'm trying to make it look arctic fox. But still, I'm a furry. You know what? Bring on the hate comments. I'm just going to disprove your theories with this video. Never a good idea to just start egging people on and say bring on the hate comments. Because you know what? You won't be able to handle all that hate. You really won't. You're going to get so many hate comments. You're going to get millions upon millions of them almost to the point where you just feel like doing the following. Yeah, that pretty much is going to happen. Because the definition of a furry is a person who dresses up as an anamorphic character and tries to act human and do everything that a human does, but in animal form. So sex is going to be a part of that. Unfortunately, there are some furries out there, about half of the population, that are sex-crazed deviants and pose really sick crap up that would just make a regular person cringe. So the whole idea about furries being sex-crazed maniacs is freaking true. They are. Another thing, furries being an internet subculture is a flawed statement because, well, if they're an internet subculture, why the hell are they on TV? Also, you just disproved your little theory even more by saying that you show them on shows like CSI, A Thousand Ways to Die, and all these other TV shows. If they're internet soul culture, then why are they on TV? Hmm? Hmm? Wanna know? I'm waiting! <sighs> That's about it, guys, for this commentary. Leave a comment under below and tell me what you think about it, because this is Lon Styles, and I say good day. I say good day!